Hello, I'm Meryl Ramsey. And I'm Haley Knipple. And now the Indy presents Fort Fuel, your campus news source. It's no surprise that FLC has talent in the arts as well as academics. On Friday, February 27th, FLC choirs gave their last performance of the semester. Members said it has been a challenging year as they prepare to go to Italy this summer to sing in churches and locations coveted by any performer. The choir concert featured a cappella, the a cappella choir, as well as men's choir, chamber choir, and concert choir. Men's choir may have the chance to compete in the next season of America's Got Talent and will be informed of their possible opportunity soon. Mel Ramsey interviewed performers and audience members at the concert. Let's see what they had to say. Hello, I'm Meryl Ramsey. Tonight I'm at the FLC Choir Concert. I'm talking with Nicholas Garcia about it. Nicholas, how do you feel tonight? I'm pretty excited. I'm singing in all the choirs, so that's going to be a pretty hefty feat. <laughs> I just got over a cold, so I'm starting to get better, but all I'm right. pretty excited. That actually leads to my next question. We were actually wondering, with the cold weather, does that actually affect your performance and your voice? Definitely. Um, Weather pressure affects your voice and definitely temperature. You just have to kind of temper yourself to whatever weather is out there. As far as languages go, we didn't get very many hard languages. We got um, some Latin and some Italian, so those are pretty phonetic and that's not too bad. Um, as far as difficulty, we just picked really difficult music this semester. Um, even concert choirs doing difficult music, so. What are you most excited for tonight? Is there a certain number, a certain song that you like to sing the most? Well, I'm excited. I'm not in a cappella, but I'm excited for their stuff because it's always fantastic and it just, it's amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. We hear that there is a huge Italy trip coming up and we want to hear all about it. Why don't you start by telling us when it is? It's May 5th to the 15th and it's basically a group of about 50 of us, and we're all going to Italy, Austria, and Germany uh, to see the sights and sing in some really great places, and it's gonna be great. I want you so bad, I think you want to know that I intend to hold you for the longest time. <laughs> what kind of songs will you guys be performing tonight? Um, well, there's, there's four different choirs, so, um, where it's kind of like a collection of songs, like the bigger choir, concert choir, it's kind of like we're doing some spiritual stuff. And then the other choirs, uh, like a cappella, we're doing like poppy kind of stuff. Avery, is this your first choir concert? Uh, no, no it's not. I, I went to their winter concert and uh, that was good, so I'm hoping that this one's at least as equally as good. So, Is there anything in particular that draws you to these concerts? Do you have friends? or? Yeah, yeah, I have friends that are in the choir concert, but also I think that uh, you should support the arts, especially at FLC. If you're a student, you should attend the games. If you like sports games, if you like music, if you like bands, whatever, you should help out your fellow FLC students. So. Well, it certainly was a great concert, Haley. What a talented group of students. Indeed, I know that they're all really excited for their trip to Italy this summer, and I'm really excited for them. It'll be a great opportunity. They're going to get to sing in a lot of amazing places, and I'm sure they'll all grow from that. And as talented as they are, they definitely deserve it. You have one more thing on the list for us today, don't you? I sure do. Now, on a more academic note, it is always great to see improvements in technology and research here at Fort Lewis College. In order to create a diverse and growing program, FLC does do its best to stay up to date with new technology and devices. The newest and perhaps most noteworthy expansions are two new 3D printers that were recently received from the Michael and Elaine Moravon Foundation. With this new technology, students in the physics and engineering department can now create projects faster and cheaper. The printers are basic riprap printers and primarily use plastic for their printing material. The printers are constructed out of all 3D parts and are actually programmed to regenerate and clone themselves if a part breaks. Definitely very interesting and efficient, however one may argue that giving artificial intelligence and robots is very futuristic and frightening. Mariah Sunnison spoke with Ryan Holland to get more on the story. What was, what was the process of obtaining this, this printer? Uh, there's a, a fellow in town who just moved to Durango whose daughter is a Fort Lewis alum and he and his wife have a foundation and they really appreciated what Fort Lewis meant to their family and wanted to donate uh, some money from this foundation to our department, to campus. 
and they thought a great resource for us to have would be these 3D printers. So they come in pairs because you want to be able to use one to make parts for the other. So we actually have two of them mm -hmm. and they're both up and running now in the department and they have been since late December. How amazing is that that Fort Lewis College actually has 3D printers now? I know, for a small liberal arts school to have that kind of technology is huge. Yeah, it's going to make students' projects go a lot faster. I'm sure the faculty and staff are enjoying that, and it's definitely good for our programs. Yeah, good opportunity for our students and a way to learn, for sure. Definitely. Well, this past weekend, Skyfest, an annual celebration of music and fun, was canceled due to winter storm warnings. Very disappointing for our student body. I know that people look forward to that every year, and probably for the bands performing as well. I'm sure, yeah, but you know, safety is the biggest concern. Unfortunately, it didn't end up snowing very much, so maybe yeah. they're a little disappointed about that. Seriously, but just rain all weekend. But, you know, <laughs> I think they're going to reschedule. We don't have a date as of now, but it'll be coming up soon. Yes, students, definitely keep that on your radar. Everyone's really excited for it. No doubt I am also excited. That wraps up another edition of the Indy Presents Fort Fuel. Be sure to head online for all your campus, sports, and community news. And check the big yellow boxes for our latest print issue. I'm Haley Knipple. And I'm Errol Ramsey. And until next time, see, see you, you on campus. campus. I am. <laughs>